All right, Pisces. I'm back to do another read for you guys. Um, had to cleanse that energy up out of here. Okay. All right, Pisces. So this is going to be for the Piscean Collective, Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome here. Let's see what's going on with the Pisces. Let's see what's going on with the Pisces for the rest of the week for July 19th through the 22nd. July 19th through the 22nd. So for the next, what, four days? What is today? Mon Monday? Today's Tuesday. I'm tripping. Yeah. Today's Tuesday. All right. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. God, angels, guides, universe, ancestors, and the highest to the most high. You are welcome here. Please give me a message for the Piscean Collective for the rest of the week. What's popping? What's popping for Pisces for the remainder of this week? So there's some type of a misunderstanding, maybe about some two cards I'm not going to take. This was two cards. There, This could be some type of a misunderstanding about some type of secrets here. With this wall misunderstanding so there could be some type of a misunderstanding this week if somebody has some secrets those may be coming out what was that cracked cup dissatisfaction with life somebody here may be dissatisfied with where they are it's a side note for some not for all what else is coming in for pisces for the remainder of this week please for more what else can you tell pisces keep in mind that these messages will not resonate with every single person out there. You guys know your story more than I do. So if it's not your story, just let it fly. Okay. Don't be like, nope, that's not going on in my life. Okay. That's great. It's someone else's. Okay. So let's see. So we have the clouds, temporary problems and compliments from an admirer. So something here is temporary, whatever clouds or, you know, turbulence, whatever, there will be a bouquet, so there will be compliments from somebody, a secret admirer. Somebody's going to be like, ooh, Pisces, you look so nice today. And they're going to be like, thank you. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be some temporary problems surrounding some type of... If somebody's hiding something, I don't know. Keep in mind that this doesn't have to be you, Pisces. This could be somebody in your energy field. So we have keep your life in balance with the scales. That was two cards. Ugh, Jesus. Okay, Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, uh, especially in business. This came out earlier for like a reading I did for this week. So the energy is the energy. Okay, I can't make this shit up. All right, so the energy is still like here. Somebody here may, may need to be resourceful. Okay, there could be like some shady shit going on around a job or a work situation. Try and stay balanced, okay, through this. Some There could be a misunderstanding. You have the, uh, the ram, a stubborn or aggressive person. You could be dealing with a Taurus, don't have to be. Okay, but um, we have the ram on the bottom of the deck, a stubborn or aggressive person. So you're dealing with somebody who... Is stubborn or aggressive, okay? So show me what's up with this misunderstanding for Pisces. Whatever this is, is temporary. It'll pass. If you have any secrets, those may be coming out to the forefront. Just be expecting that. Or if this is someone who's holding secrets from you, that may be coming out to the forefront, okay? It's going to cause some type of temporary problems or somebody here may be misunderstood or misunderstanding someone. So show me this wall. Why is the wall here? What is this misunderstanding about? Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy. Could be someone who's younger. Goes that hair font reversed. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So, hair font reverse, Tauren energy. This misunderstanding could be about some type of a contract, a commitment, a marriage even, or a Taurus, or something to do with the government, or like either paperwork or 
Somebody here may receive a message of good news. Oh. Somebody may be receiving a message that a divorce is final. Okay. Somebody may be becoming single or maybe wanting to be single. And that could cause some type of a heartbreak. Or, you know, somebody may be crying over spilled milk. Crying at, crying about, like, something that was lost. An emotional loss. An emotional loss. Oh, my gosh. There may be an emotional loss over, like, some type of a contract or some paperwork. But... Again, with this misunderstanding, the Page of Wands is typically like a message of good news in the upright. So a misunderstanding is like somebody that it may cause temporary problems, but it'll be cleared up, you know, like it's a misunderstanding. Like someone's like, oh, you know, we watched this movie the other night. I don't remember the name, but it was about this guy who went to work. And his coworkers were jealous of him. He was a noble man. And they put like some, they had to check their stuff, you know, prior to leaving to make sure no one was stealing. Because it was like, I don't know, computer parts or something like that. And uh, one of the other coworkers planted something in his icebox. And so when he went to leave, he got busted for it. And the boss tried to make an example out of him. And so he... Um, gave him like the max and he was like, look, I've been a good employee for 10 years. You know, you know, I went still. And, uh, he's like, I know, but I'm going to make an example out of you so that everybody else knows that it's like, not just a slap on the hand and sentence him to like a year in jail or something. And, um, come to find out. So the daughter, he had like a 17 year old daughter and she, she was, a uh, man, I need to get that name of that movie for you guys. It was really good. And, um, yeah, she believed in God and everything, and they were living at a hotel then, and he was barely trying to make, he was a single dad trying to make it work for him and his, you know, daughter. And she used to always write, you know, biblical stuff. She had a lot of faith, okay, a lot of faith. And so CPS tried to come and take her. She went and lived in the storage unit. She ended up um, getting a watch at a yard sale, and it was like, the lady sold it to her for a dollar and she pawned it and she was really smart and intelligent. She got like 33,000 something. And then she let this other homeless girl stay with her who um, was not a noble person, but she knew it. And we totally thought that that girl was going to steal all the money from her, but she tricked her. She put a bunch of coupons in the envelope and the girl tried to steal it and sneak out of the storage unit through the night. Anyways, the caseworker, realized that the daughter was so like intelligent and she found her at the park and you know kept trying to get her to come with her and she wouldn't and she had no clue where her dad went at all or that he was in jail and uh anyways so that caseworker kept trying and trying to figure it out and so later on they figured out that the dad was innocent and they let him out and it was it was great um but this is like what I'm seeing, like something here may be a misunderstanding. And I'm not saying someone's going to go to jail. Okay. I'm not saying that. I don't see that, but, um, something here is a misunderstanding. So it may cause some temporary problems this week. Um, but I feel like this is more surrounding possibly a marriage and somebody becoming single or somebody regretting getting my ears ringing really strong. Um, Somebody's going to discover something about a faulty contract or some paperwork or a loophole that's going to allow them to become single. They regret doing something. They regret like getting into a marriage or a contract or a false marriage or a false contract or something to that nature. They're going to discover something. Hidden secrets can harm you. What is this? Hidden secrets can harm you. Queen of Cups reverse Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy. Okay. Hidden secrets can harm you. Can you tell me more? King of Swords. Somebody here is being manipulative. Pi this could be Pisces Cancer Scorpio, Aquarius Libra Gemini, Six of Wands. This could be somebody in the public eye. Maybe somebody is lying with this King of Swords in the reverse.
Somebody may also be lying to get attention. Somebody could have also lied about how successful they were. Or this is somebody in the public eye, in the community, well known in the community. This could be somebody that's like, has some type of a position of authority, possibly. Hidden secrets can harm you. But somebody here is lying and being manipulative in this situation, emotionally manipulative. They're not using their intuition. Somebody here is doing something for clout. Is that song by Cardi B? I don't even know. Okay. Show me temporary problems. King of Pentacles. So this could be surrounding a business or a job or um, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Temporary problems. Show me this temporary problem. Ooh, Queen of Swords and the Chariot. So now you have like the Queen of Swords. This could be surrounding like a, like I was saying, a divorce. Because a Queen... Queen of Swords and the King of Swords is out here now. So this is, this could be two divorced or unmarried individuals. So two people who, um, so the Chariot, Cancerian energy, some, something here is going to be able to move forward. There will be positive movement forward. Exactly. Temporary problems. Like something here is just temporary. Somebody's still going to be able to travel, move forward. This may even be about a vehicle. Oh, this Queen of, Quartz, Queen of Swords coming out sideways. This may have been... There could have also been an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, possibly, or somebody who works in the government or in the public or has some type of authority or this someone who's older, has a governmental job, or I don't even know, may have lied and said that somebody here wasn't a good parent, a good mother, a good father, somebody here wasn't intuitive, somebody here wasn't caring, somebody wasn't nurturing, that somebody's manipulative, but this person's success speaks for, speaks volumes, okay? Somebody may even be speaking out on social media or to the public. I don't know if this is like politicians. I don't really follow that stuff and I don't want to get into it, but, uh, this could be something like that. Like somebody may have like exposed somebody for, yeah, hidden secrets can harm you. Somebody may have like six of wands can also be like something about exposure, it's, but it's a, in the upright, this is like a, a positive exposure. This is good exposure, you know? So how is it good exposure of this? This makes me feel like somebody here may be speaking out about somebody who, is manipulative or exposing somebody for being a corrupt leader, you know, or, or somebody who's, who's faulty, lying, manipulative, or somebody's could have lied on somebody and said that they weren't a good parent, a good mother. They weren't intuitive. They weren't this, they weren't that, but really they're, they're speaking out about this. They're getting some type of public recognition. This is a weird energy. So something may cause temporary problems here. Somebody may have tried to cause some problems for somebody, but it didn't work. Like it didn't work. Temporary problems. Somebody here is very successful and they're moving forward. They're speaking the truth. Queen of Swords. They're speaking the truth. 
Somebody here is financially stable. Somebody is a good parent. Somebody is moving forward, Cancerian energy, in a positive direction. Okay, and then we come to this compliments from an admirer. So somebody here may be like admiring you. And a wands, compliments from a Iron, but somebody here is carrying some baggage. Ten of Wands surrounding a marriage or a home. Eight of Pentacles, even the job. Somebody may work with... Wait, hold up. Somebody may also be like overworked, focused on work, works a lot. Somebody, I feel like the justice and everything is fine on the bottom of the deck, two of wands. Somebody here is burdened by a choice that they made. Maybe somebody like jumped into a contract for a house and they feel like all they do is work, 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 work in order to keep a roof over their head. Like all they do, because ten of wands could talk about like overworked. Eight of pentacles is also putting in the work to like keep a roof over, over their head, you know? Or in a marriage, like somebody feels like they do all the work or somebody feels like overworked. Somebody here may also like. Is somebody burdened because somebody is stable or somebody here is very good with whatever they do? Somebody here is very good at what they do. But they're carrying all the weight of a home of like what does this keep your life in balance the wheel of fortune two of cups so stay oh, wow some type of soulmate connection here is faded aquarius leo scorpio taurus keep your life in balance the wheel is turning in your favor whether you see that or not somebody may have a new love interest this could even be a same-sex relationship coming in uh, for some or just a soulmate like a friendship or a strong bond here keep your life in balance the scales something here is faded so the wheel is turning there will be good luck there will be good fortune on your side Knight of Cups, there's a new offer coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. There's a new emotional love offer or even an apology possibly coming in. Huh. Show me the box. Just try and stay balanced through this situation because through all of this, I feel like this is like karmically, with this Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like something is karmically like changing in someone's favor. Like whether you see that now or not, like something here was fated to happen this way in order to bring balance into a situation. So just try to stay balanced. Like this will work itself out is kind of what I'm getting. Whatever is going on here, whatever like shit is going on here, it's going to work itself out. It's meant to be this way. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So two of pentacles. Ooh, in the sun. Leo. Something here. Wow. Ace of cups in the sun and two of pentacles. Somebody here may be juggling or have two options. Or somebody may have been going, like with this two of pentacles, this is like somebody may have been going back and forth. Somebody may be also trying to balance something out, trying to weigh their options or just trying to like juggle something or even like juggle their finances or work their finances out. Because two of pentacles is like the, you know, kind of the lowest in the deck. 
you know, once you, I, I don't know, I'm not explaining it. But anyways, the Sun card, Ace of Cups, something here, there will be growth, there will be illumination, there will be expansion, there will be a new love offer, there will be a blessing that's going to make somebody extremely happy. Somebody here may need to like balance some things out surrounding a business. So, okay, so whatever this shit is up here going on, I don't know who the hell is who. I don't really, I mean, we got Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. I feel like somebody's being exposed for like, lies that were told There could be, okay, so with this hidden secrets that can harm you with the moon and, moon and the Ten of Cups, there could be something that's hidden surrounding family or fears about being happy. Somebody may be fearing that Ten of Cups or being happy or somebody here may be hiding a family. Oh, but there is going to be a new beginning in love, a Two of Cups. I don't see Three Cups out here. I see Two. Well, technically three, but we got two of cups. Somebody's going to come and offer something. An apology. A relationship. Something here was fated to happen this way. Just stay balanced. Or somebody here needs to keep their life in balance or get their life in balance. But somebody here may have been going back and forth about their happiness, about an offer of love. Or somebody's wanting to offer love in order to be happy, but they're going back and forth. What is this Two of Pentacles? The Empress and the Six of Cups reverse. Somebody here is no longer going back to the past, no longer feeling nostalgic about the past. Could be a mother figure or an Empress, a Taurus or a Libra or a baby mama. Somebody may have been going back and forth between an Empress and someone from their past, but I'm asking, what is this like that somebody's going back and forth about? And it's like the Empress and letting go of the past. Okay. But it looks like someone is letting go of the past in order to have a new love and be, you know, be happy. I feel like somebody's in, in how do I say this? Somebody's intertwined. In a business marriage. <laughs> is, that, is that what that means? A business marriage. Like somebody here is like in a situation with their business and in a marriage or something. But it's a bad contract. Somebody may be becoming single up from this situation, but they're regretting something. They're going to discover something. They're going to see something. They're going to figure it out. Ace Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Spirit saying that's the truth. There will be some type of equal give and take. There may even be some type of money coming in. You may have had to stand your ground here. Show me what this hair font in the reverse is. Two cards I'm not taking. And the Four of Cups. So Yeah, somebody here is like, Feeling bored and discontent up in their head about some type of a contract. Somebody's fucking over it, though. But it's bringing a lot of, like, worry, anxiety, sleepless nights. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Three of Wands. Somebody's no longer... Somebody's wanting to come back in from being left out in the cold. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. Somebody got caught. Somebody's wanting to put this betrayal behind them. If there's a betrayal and ending here, part, harsh, painful ending, somebody's trying to come back, okay, from being left out in the cold. Somebody here is no longer waiting, though, for someone to become single, possibly. 
somebody's wanting somebody got caught but they want to put that shit behind like they want to like ten of swords in the reverse they want to put that shit yeah in the death card somebody here is still holding on to you or still holding on to a scorpio but they're watching spying feeling heartbroken because somebody here is getting a brand new opportunity they're working together with others collaborating somebody's doing it very confidently some in high priestess that's you I was getting kind of this in the last reading, like you were the Queen of Wands, Pisces. Somebody here is very confident, maybe with their intuition. Somebody here is on fucking point. If you're wondering about your intuition, that shit's on point. All right. I hope you never win. I'll never walk on clear streets again. Show me, give me, um, I feel like something here, um, is going to cause like some temporary like issues, but it's going to be resolved. There will be positive movement forward. There will be stability. I feel like somebody here is speaking their truth, maybe even deciding to like chariot travel. We get three cards, please. Release your ex, free yourself. Wow. Somebody here is releasing and let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. Yeah, somebody here is like getting out of something. Going towards their empress. Past life relationship on the bottom of the deck. You have known each other before. So this is someone you've known from your past life, possibly Pisces. What is this three of wands over here in the reverse? Uh, five of pentacles in the reverse. Ten of cups. <laughs> this is like one of those situations like when you stop waiting for something, it comes in. When you stop waiting around, like this is someone who stopped waiting. Okay, someone who's no longer feeling left out in the cold, someone who's gotten their shit together. Okay, they're no longer sitting in this five of pentacles waiting energy, like you know, like waiting for something to come in, feeling abandoned, feeling left out in the cold. This is someone who's like no longer feeling this way. All right, and that's when your ten of cups comes in. Brilliant, Pisces. <laughs> okay, let me know how this resonates with you guys. Um, I hope it did. Um, if it doesn't, let me know. Um, either way, hit that thumbs up button. Show your support. Yeah. This may have been like a product of a love spell, you guys. Ace of Swords. It's like, I don't even know how those two got on the bottom of the deck, but, uh, there may have been some loves, like I was saying, I feel like somebody lied on somebody, but somebody's getting exposed. And they're getting them, somebody got into like a faulty contract, but they're getting it out of it. They're going to discover something. Let's see, what are they going to discover, spirit? Now you got me curious. Somebody may have like been kind of shrewd, made some type of quick decision, a business based decision because we have shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So somebody here may have been like made some type of like impulsive move, business move that they regret. Hair font in the reverse. They regret and five of cups. They regret this shit, but they're becoming independent from the situation or they will or somebody did this to gain some type of financial independence. Oh, What was I clarifying? Shit. Uh, nothing. Oh, what did this person discover? What is this person going to discover? Maybe something about a Virgo. 
Ten of Cups reverse. That this oh, and the fucking devil, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. He hold away. There's something here surrounding somebody may have family that's toxic as fuck. And the hermit is also like an investigator, a guide. Somebody's gonna under undercover. Ooh, I almost said undercover. Somebody may have had an undercover. Because this can also be like an investigator. Whoa. Anyway, the devil ten of cups. Somebody may discover that somebody's family is toxic as fuck. Keeping them trapped and bound or something about a Capricorn or a Virgo. There's an ending to a family dynamic. This doesn't make somebody happy. Somebody here is like ghosting something, ghosting toxic family or ghosting a situation or going within, doing some self-reflecting. Somebody may have also gotten like, somebody may be in isolation, like isolating themselves away from toxic family at this time. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Pisces, if this resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.